All right, so now it's day four and either you're really encouraged to keep going with it and it's just much easier than you thought it was gonna be or you get really discouraged because there's gotta be a piece of food I have to have or a drink that I have to have to make me, I guess, feel happy. But let's talk about some of those feelings. Let's talk about what a, what a false fix is. A false fix is a term that's coined by Dr. Pamela Peake, who wrote this book called The Hunger Fix, which I really enjoy. Um, and what a false fix is, is that uh, we tend to use food as almost like a fix, almost like a drug. And these drugs give us this sort of natural high, this natural dopamine surge in our brain so that we continue wanting it more and more. And food can be much more addicting than you know, street drugs, morphine, anything that you can think of. Because one, it's available everywhere. Two, it's legal. <clears throat> Three, and it's very cheap. And so you have really easy access to something that can give us a high. And that high stemmed from maybe childhood, maybe a really long time ago, or maybe into the teenage years. Something that gives us comfort when things are awry. But to understand that, to reverse type 2 diabetes, you have to do something different from now on than what you've done before. Everything you've done before gotten, has gotten you to this point, and everything that you do from here on out will need to be good for you and for your body. And that's exactly what this program is all about. This program is all about doing things that are good for you. Do things that will help you achieve a goal that you want to attain. And the goal of that is type 2 diabetes reversal. So whenever you feel like you have a craving or you have a need for something that may not be good for you, understand that that may just be a false fix. And understanding the triggers causing you to reach for that or yearn for that is going to make you the most successful at whatever it is that you want to do, especially in type 2 diabetes reversal. So know your trigger mechanisms. What's triggering you to want that? Does something happen? Is it stress? Is it a time of day? And know your emotional response to that trigger. Why are you having that emotional response to that particular trigger? Are you able to alter that emotional response? And knowing the reward that you want, and are you able to alter the reward? And what I like to tell people is, hey, ha instead of restricting yourself on something, how about we switch a reward? Instead of having this false fix, let's switch that reward to something else. Instead of soda water or soda, um, why don't we have uh, lemon or lime water, citrus infused water? Instead of having pasta, let's use spaghetti squash instead or zucchini or zoodles. You know, these, these are substituted mindset that can have... A, long-lasting success. So keep that in mind. Thank you.